Uh, hello, people. This is just a short uh, instructional vid on what security wafers are, how they work, and what they do. I have here several examples of security wafers. This one is out of an old Ruswin padlock. This is an American security wafer. This is a Schlag uh, C Q8 or a Schlag uh, security wafer. This is a Papay's and another Schlag. And uh, you'll notice that on the Schlag ones, one size ha has a U or is spelt up on it. And you always want to drop it into the lock with the up part facing up. <clears throat> okay, now this is how they work. Security wafers are intended to prevent bypass, which is in fact reaching up through the keyway like this with a small tool to manipulate the locking bars uh, enabling you to open the lock, bypassing the pins entirely. Now, what a security wafer does is it prevents you, we'll use the American here as a demonstration. It sits right here at the end of the keyway on the inside of the lock between the cam and well, it sits right at the end of the keyway right there, preventing any type of device from being inserted where it could access the locking bar or the cam to do the bypass. Now, uh, Peterson has come up with a, a very um, cool tool called a wafer breaker, and it's made out of a a hardened piece of carbon steel and you and it's shaped like an American key and you slide it in there and you hit it with a hammer and it punches a hole through the wafer and then you then go back in through the hole in the wafer and you can pop the lock open and they all basically work on the same principle this one is a papaze out of one of the papaze locks I gutted in one of my last vids and it, as you can see, it just drops in there and blocks the end of the keyway. And that, in a nutshell, is what security wafers are for, how they work, and what they do. So I hope that uh, helped anybody that was wondering. <clears throat> Uh, if you enjoyed that video and found it educational, feel free to rate it. Uh, peace, have fun, and uh, don't use this information for illegal purposes.